Hi everyone, I'm Miss Shannon, the head coach here at Vienna Gymnastics, and this is what we're going to call level two. Um, so really, I'm thinking five and up, um, but I bet there's some four-year-olds and maybe even a couple three-year-olds who could do at least some of the things in here, if not all of them. Um, again, I'm erring on the side of caution. You know your kids. Um, so just um, keeping things pretty simple so that nobody gets injured. So on that note, please make sure you have a nice soft surface. We're not close to walls or furniture. And we've asked our grown-ups permission before we do this class. Right, friends, we're going to start with our warm-up. So normally we do a song, but we're not going to use music today. We're just going to move our body. So we're going to start by just walking. And we're walking in place or walk in a circle. Alright, and then we're down on the march. We're going to bring our knees up higher. And we're going to jump. Get those knees up if you can. Jump and turn, look in 
front of you, right? So let's just do two more. So one more. Look behind and look in front and shake it out. All right, we're going to do our jump full turn. So we're going to go all the way around. So you have to look for something straight ahead of you. If you look for the floor, you're probably going to land on the floor. If you drop your shoulder, same thing. So keep your chest up and look straight ahead of you. So we're going to jump and turn. Oh, that was not a very good one, friend. Let's try another one. Oh, I dropped my chest a little bit, but good trying. All right, shake it out, shake it out, deep breath. And relax for a minute. All right. all right, friends, so we're all warmed up, and we are going to do some skills that we can do for our event. So our, our events, of course, are vault, bars, mean, and floor. And we're going to start with vault. So vaulting is the springboard in our running skills and our vault trainer that we typically have out. So of course, we probably do not have those things at home. So we're going to do the things that we can practice on the floor. So if you have something with lines, or if you have tape that you can make lines, that will be helpful for this segment. But mostly we just need a little bit of space, okay? So we're going to start by marching. So we're going to, in level one, we stood in sight. And so now we're going to move. And we're going to use our arms. So we want to do opposition. Opposition means opposite. So if one knee is up, the opposite arm is out, right? So we're just gonna march with our arms. We're standing up nice and straight, of course, and then we're gonna march back. Okay, my arms stay at a nice right angle. So now we're gonna do um, our booty kicks, right? So we're going to start by walking, and again, our arms are in opposition. So we're going to kick, 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 right? And back. So kick, 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 kick. We're going to do the same thing with running. So again, we're still trying to kick backwards, not this way. So we're going to kick, 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 and back. Kick, kick. The leg that is on the ground stays straight, and so does our body. We're only moving our leg and our arms, okay? So again, opposition. Knees up, knees up, knees up, knees up, knees up, knees up. right? Okay, arms stay at a nice angle. Now, of course, we're going to run with that. So same thing. High knees. Practice any of those outside too if it's nice out. So, we are going to, if you have a mat, you can fold it. If you happen to have two mats, you can just set one mat on top. But I'm going to fold this one. And we're going to hop on one foot, and we're going to land with two feet on the top mat, okay? So, I'm going to start here, and you're going to hop with your opposite foot. So my favorite foot is my right foot, so I'm going to hop on my left foot, okay? So my hands are on my waist, and I'm just going to hop, hop, two feet, and just sit. My chest is up, nice and tight, right? So, hands on my waist, hop, hop, two feet. We want to be landing in the middle of our mat. Not the edges where we can fall off. So aim for the middle. We're going to do it one more time. So opposite foot. <laughs> hop, hop, and sit. Okay? Good. Now, I'm going to put my mat back flat. And we're going to do some skills that involve our lines. So I'm going to use the lines on my mat. And if you have a pound mat, mat like me, you can do the same thing. And if you don't, 
you can get, like I said, some tape or some chalk, okay? So, in dance terms, this is called an assemblé, but it's also called um, like a punch um, for a vault. So I tend to say off the way, but if I say punch, it means the same thing, okay? So we are going to start with our line. This is my line right here. And I'm gonna put my hands on my hips. So I'm gonna put my favorite, whoops. I'm gonna put my favorite foot over the line. And I'm just gonna lay in in a stick, okay? And my knees are bent, my chest is up, my booty is under. All right, so we're gonna do that again. And again, one, two, and up. And again, one, two, and up. All right, so we're gonna make that a little bit trickier. We're gonna start adding our arms. So our arms start up, we put our favorite foot in front, we're gonna circle our arms backwards, and land in our stick, okay? So we're here, backwards, stick, one, two, okay? One more, uh, two more times actually. Favorite foot, arms up, and stick. Go ahead, all right, and one more. Big stretch, and stick, one, two, and up. All right, so if you thought that was pretty easy, we're gonna add another element to it. We're gonna add something called a releve. Again, if you've been in ballet, releve just means you're up on your toes, right? So we're gonna go up on our toes. So, we're gonna start with our hands on our waist again. We're gonna do our awesome leg. One, two, releve. One, two. Squeeze everything, okay? And again. Six, one, two, releve, one, two. And one more time. And six, one, two, releve, one, two. All right, everybody got that? Because now we're gonna add the arms. So for our arms, start six, one, two, releve, one, two. Okay, and again. And six, one, two, releve, one, two, squeeze tight, or just get wiggly like I did. We're gonna do one more. And stick, and releve, and relax. Good job, all right. Now, if that is starting to feel unique, we're going to add another element. And it's gonna be quicker this time. So we're gonna add a punch. So we're going to, also lay, releve, and jump backwards. Only it's fast, okay? So we're gonna start with our hands on our hips. So you're here, favorite foot, and pop, and back, okay? So we're trying to go over our line and back over it. So hit, releve, and back, okay? Now, we're gonna do it one more time. Okay, now we're gonna add the arms. So, arms backwards and up. So, here, backwards and up. Try to hit a hollow. So you'll see my chest is in, I'm reaching, I'm looking straight ahead, and my body's a little bit of a curve, right? I'm still squeezing everything. So we're gonna do it again. So here, nice and tight, right? One more time, up. Squeeze. Good. All right. Shake it out a little bit. Okay. So if you have a wall, you can do this one. And you're going to see me doing it from the back. Um, so I'm going to show you from the side and pretend there's a wall and then I'll do it against the wall. So we're going to start, <coughs> excuse me, we're going to start in our stick, right? We're here. We're gonna circle our arms backwards as we go to our toes. And we're gonna reach as high up on the wall as we can, going into a hollow, okay? So we're here, circle backwards, go up on toes, hollow. So I'm pretty tall, right? So I'm probably gonna try to reach up here. So it's quicker than, so we're here, 
I'm in my sit. I'm here. And I push and I hollow and I look at the wall. Okay, so sit. And pop. Nice and tight, push against that wall. And we're going to do one more. So stick and backwards and push. And hold one, two, three. And be relaxed. Good. Okay, so we have a couple more ball skills. We're going to do our shoulder shrugs. And we're going to do them two different ways. We're going to do them on our knees first. And then on our, um, in a plank, in a hollow. So shoulder shrugs are when we make our shoulder blades touch and we push hard to make our back round, okay? Sometimes shoulder shrugs are this way, but ours are going to be more front and back, okay? So we're going to start on our hands and knees, like this. Normally we would be on our springboard, but I'm assuming you guys won't have one. So we're, we want our shoulders over our wrists, right? We're just going to make our shoulder blades touch. And then we're going to push against the ground. Okay, make our back go up to the ceiling. We're going to do that five times. We're going to fall, make our shoulder blades touch, push. We want to keep our tummy safe. We don't want it to be an archy back. It's all in our shoulder blades. So shoulder blades, push. And we're going to do two more. Shoulder blades, push. And we're going to do one more. Shoulder blades, push. Keep that tummy tight. Now, that tummy being tight is super important because we're about to make this harder. So, we're only going to do five, so try your best, but we want to be in a plank. We want to be up, okay? So, we're going to shoulder blades, push, and shoulder blades, push, shoulder blades, push, two more, and push, and one more, and push, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, and knees. Good job. Okay, so we're going to do our arch rocks, and then we're going to do our hollow rocks. So arch rocks, we're going to go on our tummies, and we're going to stretch. And we're going to lift, okay? And then we have to start rocking. Everything stays together. We're going to do ten. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. And relax. And push back to your knees. And round your back. And relax. Okay. So we're going to do hollow rocks. So when we do hollow rocks, we have to keep our back on the floor. They don't have to be big. If you are super strong, you can do them with your arms back by your ears. If you are not super strong, you can do them with your arms forward. So make sure your arms forward because I am not feeling super strong today. So I'm going to lay down on my back. I'm going to lift up just enough to get my shoulders and my heels. And I'm just going to try to rock my back on the floor. So my heels are touching. And that's because I'm not feeling super strong today. <laughs> but we're trying our best, right? And relax. I kind of forgot the count. I hope that was 10. And we're going to hug our knees and sit up. Take a deep breath. And then, all right, so next is bars. So without an actual bar, there's not a lot we can do, but there's a few things we can do. So. If you happen to have a swing set or a chin-up bar at your house, you can do your flexed arm hinge, you can do your chin-ups. Um, if you have like a big bar on your swing set, you can try your toe on, things like that. But um, if you don't have something like that, we can still do a couple things. So one of the things we can do is we can hold up our mat a little bit. Now, if you have a big exercise ball at home and you want to make this more challenging, you could use your big exercise ball or even like a big playground ball that wobbles a little bit because that'll make you really work your core. But this is a good start too. So we're going to do our plank, but we're going to put our toes up here 
And we're going to try to put just our toes up. So I've got my bar, which is my noodle. If you don't have a noodle, that's okay. You can just put your hands flat on the ground, no problem. We're going to put our bar, and we're going to put our toes, and we're going to try to point our toes and hold our body. We're pushing our shoulder blades up. Tummies in, and we're squeezing our booty. We're looking flat at the floor. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And knees down. All right. And the higher, the more of a workout you get for your shoulders and your core. Okay? All right. So we can also do crunches, which are like this. So we can do, or in class we tend to call them jelly bellies, right? So we can do our jelly bellies like this. We can also do, if you want to use your noodle for fun, we can also do our, just our crunches, where we bring our, just our shoulders off when we touch our noodle to our knees. Okay, and if you want a big challenge, we'll see if Miss Shannon can do it today. Woo! We're going to try to be up. We're going to try to make the noodle go over my feet. Okay, so we're going to try to go up and down and up and down. <laughs> okay, that one's kind of fun with the noodle. <laughs> okay, so push ups are always good. And also, candlestick, if you have a wall, um, you can do your candlestick against the wall. And so, you can also do candlestick without the wall, like this, right? Use your arms and squeeze your body and hold. You can do it without your hands. Hold. If you want a little help of balance, you can do it against the wall. And then you can pretend you're on the bar upside down. Okay? So those are some things you could do to practice like bar training to keep your core in, in nice top tip top shape, right? Alright. So the next one we're gonna do is balancing. And if you have a floor beam at home, great. You can absolutely use that. But not all of us do. So you can use chalk or you can use tape. So I'm going to make my beam out of tape. Okay? 
So for toes, I like high fit. So I'm going to stretch. I'm going to squeeze everything into a nice line. I'm going to look at the end of my bean and get the end. I'm going to turn around and go back. Nice stretch. My tummy is pulled in. My booty is tucked under. And I'm in a nice big stretch. And then we can go backwards on our toes. I'm going to go up on my toes. I'm going to look at the end of my bean. I'm going to walk one foot behind the other. I'm going to try really hard to squeeze. And I found the end. So I'm going to turn and do it again. Whoa! For some reason, I'm very wiggly backwards today. One of those days. Alright, so I would obviously practice that a little bit more. But, so you guys on board, we're going to keep going. We're going to do our marching. So when we march on beam, I like your legs to look like part of a rectangle or a square. A right angle, okay? So we keep our tummies in and we point our toes. So our toes look down, down. This is not a fast build. This one's pretty slow, okay? Your chest stays up, your shoulders stay down, and you take your time. Good. Getting very big. All right. We're also going to do our bear walks on the beam. So we're going to bend over. We're going to try to put our hands on our beam. And we're going to try to walk like a bear. Oops, I just fell off the beam. Across. Okay? And then we're going to try to walk. Usually it holds on a little bit differently. But we got to try. Good job. All right. So we're also going to do something called punches. We kind of covered that a little bit in vault. We don't bend our knees. We keep our legs straight. So we're going to put our hands on our waist. We're going to put one foot in front of the other. This is not a gallop, okay? You have to push off of both feet at the same time. You've got to squeeze everything. So we're going to hop, hop, hop. Then we're going to put our other foot in front. And we're going to hop. Hop, hop, hop. Oh, Okay, good. Then we're going to do our levers. But levers aren't just levers. We have to use our T-shapes in them. So really it's lunge, T-shape, lever, T-shape, lunge. Okay, so we're going to put a foot in front. Our front foot is straight ahead or slightly turned out. Our back foot is turned out a little bit more. And we're going to stretch. We're going to be in our lunge. We're going to push to Tandu. We're going to do our T-shape. We're going to hit our lever. We're going to try to go back to T-shape. And back to lunge. Okay? Alright. And then we're going to try our other side. So we're going to front foot, little turn down lever, T shape, oh, the shannon fell off the beam, back to lunge. Alright, so obviously we should practice that one a little bit more. I'm going to give you guys a minute to do that. One more skill you can try on me, as long as you keep your kicks small, is our split handstand. I do not want anybody falling over. Okay, so we need to keep our bodies nice and strong, and maybe not do our biggest kicks. So keep them small to medium. And remember, when we do split handstands, we're not arching our backs. So we don't want our bodies to look like this upside down. They should look like this upside down, right? So if we do split handstands, we're here, we pass through our T-shape, we do a small kick, and we land back on our beam. Okay? Small kick. So again, this is only on your favorite foot. So lunge, reach, small kick, keep your tummy in, 
and finish. Okay? So we always want to land back in our lunge. Let's go ahead and do one more. So lunge, reach, place your body, and finish. Good. Alright. So while there are other things we can do on these, we're going to kind of limit it there for now. Okay? So we're going to move on to our floor skills. So I'm going to pull up my knee. But if it looks a little funny, 
Don't laugh at me, okay? So, we're going to start on our backs. And we're going to put those arms up and then turn back, fingers facing our shoulders. And we're going to try to push all the way up. We're going to try to put our hands together and our feet together. We're going to try to push, 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 push. And back down. And rock it back and forth. So I know some of you guys can already do that a little bit better than me. But some of you might be struggling with it a little bit like I was. But keep practicing. It gets easier. Now, I'm not going to do it. But if you've gotten pretty good at that bridge and you want to try putting one foot up and counting to five and then switching your feet and counting to five again, that's a good thing to practice also. But always remember to rock it out, my friends. So rock that back out. Good job. Okay, the last thing for floor that we're going to talk about is our cartwheels. So, um, if you have two panel mats, you can put one panel mat on top of the other. You might have a nice firm cushion that you could use as your elevated surface. I'm going to go ahead and fold this panel mat all the way up, even though I'm on a wood floor. I do not want you guys to do that on a wood floor. If you're on the grass or carpet, you could fold your panel all the way up. But not a wood or hard surface, please. So I'm going to fold this up. So that I have a nice high surface. And I am going to work on my cartwheel over my mat, okay? So I'm going to start back here and I'm going to stretch. I'm going to put my hands down on top. Since I'm starting with my right foot, my hands go to the right side. So I'm going to stretch and I'm going to step into this a little bit so I can get a bigger kick off my back leg. And we're thinking about getting our feet over the panel, right? So your first kick might look like that, right? So and we need to practice both sides. So we're going to go back. And you might just be thinking, oh, over that panel, right? Okay. So then what we're going to do is we're going to think more about kicking like a rainbow up in the sky. Or we're trying to kick the ceiling or the lights in the ceiling. Whatever. So we're going to stretch, we're going to step forward, and we're going to kick as hard as we can up to the sky. So we're going to kick up and over our mat. Okay? And then we're going to go back the other way. And we're going to kick and up. So once you feel like you have that big, big kick over the panel, you can, or your raised surface, you can take your raise surface away and then you can do your big cartwheel remember to stretch try to use your whole mat across the floor and always try both sides and up okay so the last thing we're going to work on today is our splits. So we're going to stretch a little bit and we're going to attempt to go down in a split. But if you don't make it all the way, that's okay. I'd rather you just try your best and keep your legs as straight as you can for that part. So we're going to go on our knees. And I always start with my least favorite foot. So for me, that's my left foot. I'm going to put that side out. And I'm going to make sure my belly button is looking at my foot. Alright, and I'm going to stretch and put both hands down. And I'm going to keep my hips square, which means my belly button has to keep looking at my foot. And my knee is the top of my foot is on the floor in the back. I'm going to count to five. One, two, three, four, five. Then I'm going to flex. One, two, three, four, five. Then I'm going to point again. And then I'm going to push my front leg. I'm going to hold it. One, two, three, four, five. Then I'm going to try to pick my chest up and hold my balance. One, two, three, four, five. And then I'm just going to try to slide my legs out as far as I can with my knee in the top of my foot in the back and my front knee up, my belly button looking at my toe. Now if I let my body turn, I can go lower, but that's cheating. 
So I'm going to stay here and it hurts. So I'm going to count to five. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm going to relax those legs, shake them out a little bit. And then I'm going to do the same thing on my other side. For me, my right side. So I'm going to put my right foot up. My belly button's looking at my toes. Hands down. Point. One, two, three, four, five. And flex. One, two, three, four, five. We're going to point one more time. One, two, three, four, five. We're going to push our front knee forward. Push down on the hip flexor. One, two, three, four, five. Chest up. One, two, three, four, five. And now we're going to fly those legs out as far as we can. And if you can't go down and you want a little extra, get those hands up. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, friends, we made it. Shake those legs out. Shake those hands up. Take a deep breath. Pat yourself on the back. Good job, friends. Thank you.